we'll do it 35 in from the wall, 35 in, 35 and a half from thereabouts, and up 45. 49. 49. Right. So we'll come up 49, and Bob, your uncle. Yes. Today, my team and I are installing the Richmond Industrial City mural that was painted in 1941 by Victor Arnatov. Bottom of the mural is going to go right here. Okay. Okay. Says Melinda. Okay. Okay. And the side of it, and the side of it, the side here is going to go to here. Okay. And then the other side over there also, she's measured that. So I'm going to follow up behind you with that ladder, and I'm going to put a couple. Of Scott Haskins is the art conservator with Fine Arts Conservation Lab in Goleta, California. Scott was trained in Italy and he has decades of experience restoring and installing historic murals. We're going to lift, we're going to lift it up and we're going to kind of hold it like that against the wall, all of us together. And then we'll slide it up uh, to uh, the right height. And uh, the right height, the bottom of the mural is going to go right here. Okay. Okay. Says Melinda. Okay. Okay. And the side of it, and the side of it, the side here is going to go to here. Okay. Don't let it like go. Don't let it come together and like cause a, you know, a crease. Kink it, yeah. You know, a crease. A crease yeah. yeah. And so always keep it, you know, under. If you see something going, then don't. If you see something starting to happen, then don't keep going. All right. All right. So uh, someone else get behind the mural. In the middle. In the middle. Here, I'll come on this side. Yep. Yeah, great. All right. Just in the back here. Back here. You got it. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, let him get up. Okay. And then you can go against the wall. Lift it up a little bit higher. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Come on out. Come on out. Down about uh, half, half an inch, three quarters down. inch. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Looks, that looks pretty good. good. Looks good. Okay. okay. And what about the side? What about the side? The side, it's resting exactly on it. It's about an inch off on this side. Uh, too oh. far to the left or? Too far to the right. Too far to the right. So let's just go to the left, like half an inch. Just slightly. Okay. okay. Good. Yeah, that's good. All right. So. Um, right in between. All right. So I'm going to let go. Okay. And you guys make sure you keep it up there, okay? Okay. That's it. I don't think, right. I don't think you got it precise. It doesn't matter. Though. All right. Yeah, we can uh, put it. I can, I can move this and put up a couple more screws, but just so you know. Yeah. Okay. Let me just keep this side up and you do it that side. There you go. And then we can come back to it. So let me just put up a couple more screws here and there and then we'll... You, you need to trade this footstool for that ladder, right? of an inch off center, okay. Okay. which can be com uh, compensated for by the molding. Sure. All you have to do is move the molding a little bit and get it exactly, and then it will be exactly to the millimeter center. I was speaking with a longtime member of the museum, and he mentioned that a WPA era mural by a famous artist once hung in our local post office, which is just about six blocks away from the museum. And I got real curious and started to seek out and talk to people about the existence of the mural. And one thing led to another, 
I got in contact with a person at the post office and he had found a crate in the basement in a room that had not had lights for many, many years. And the crate was clearly marked Victor Arnatoff, Richmond Industrial City. And he brought me down into the basement and he showed me the crate and I knew that we had found it. One of the more ironic aspects about the mural is that I believe it was supposed to be sent to an art conservator in the 70s, but it never did get sent even though it was at the post office. When I was approached about this project, I was very excited because we have a long history with WPA murals. Uh, these are murals from World War II. I've been working on murals since 1975. Actually, the first painting I ever worked on was in Italy and it was dated 1365 in an 800-year-old monastery at the top of a mountain. Also, in that, uh, in that process of uh, learning and working with real pros that had international experience, I got involved with murals that had to come off of walls because of demolition or uh, because of problems. So uh, we began looking at different ways to detach murals to the wall, and uh, this was a method that came up oh, decades ago, uh, because it takes into consideration seismic uh, stability. Uh, here, uh, living in earthquake country, uh, we have to think that someday there's going to be a monster earthquake, and the technique for mounting this to the wall is going to help save it uh, in those circumstances. And I knew that this mural was going to be important for Richmond and uh, for telling the history and the story of the area. WPA murals are some of the most interesting and tell the best stories and have really come into their own as a style and as and being important for our communities. I've had the chance to work on a lot of WPA murals over the years. Uh, we restored murals uh, in the City Hall of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I've worked on murals, gosh, in Alamogordo, Mexico. I've worked on things uh, throughout, uh, throughout Texas. I've done a lot of work in Texas. We just finished mounting, like this one, uh, some enormous murals by Buck Wynn, and uh, he was uh, very prolific uh, in, the, in that area. Uh, I've worked on uh, post office murals uh, throughout Pennsylvania, and uh, working on these murals has been a great part of my career that I've enjoyed very much. Freak out, okay. just give me a call, okay. and I can coach you on how to, on how to deal with that. Now, if they have a ballpoint pen and they scratch into the paint, then we got something else to talk about. And you, um, squeegee, yeah, squeegee. You guys need help with my hands? No. One set of arms. Short, short arms. No. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Disney movie with the tie? T Rex? Yeah. Sure, my arms, big head! <laughs> <laughs> Virginia Panazon is an art conservator, a senior art conservator at our company, and she also happens uh, to have been working with me since she was four years old. I have a picture of her cleaning a mural uh, when she was four. Uh, she's my oldest daughter, and uh, it's been really great to be working with her. She's got natural talent, uh, she's got great people skills, and I have really felt fortunate, both as a father and as a prof professional, to work with her over these decades. This piece of artwork being present in the Richmond Museum is going to be a game changer for the work that we do here. It's going to attract a whole new audience to the museum. It's going to enhance the offerings that we provide in the a permanent exhibit and it's going to add a whole new level of significance to our collection. <laughs>